She was the life and soul of Galway's Indian community, a 29-year-old dentist looking forward to motherhood. On what would have been their fifth wedding anniversary, her husband Praveen heard the verdict on her death. If Savita would know that her life was at risk, she would have jumped off the bed and seeked a different hospital, which was never, we were never told about it. And it's horrendous, it's barbaric and inhuman the way Savita was treated in that hospital. Savita was 17 weeks pregnant when she arrived at hospital suffering from back pain. Three days later, she lost her baby. One week later, she herself had died of septicemia. Midwife Anne Maria Burke conceded telling her that she couldn't have an abortion because Ireland is a Catholic country. Dr Peter Boylan, a former master of the National Maternity Hospital, said she'd probably be alive if her request could have been granted. The woman has no say in her care and that's not right. If Savita was in another country, she would have had that determination and she'd still be alive right now. Ireland's not as religious these days, but there's been little change regarding the law on abortion. It's still illegal unless there's a threat to the woman's life, not just her health. In other words, they have to wait until she's dangerously ill before terminating a pregnancy. Savita Halapanovar had everything to live for. Her death has reignited the debate about abortion here. I personally think they should have went and given her the abortion. She went and requested it. She was in pain. I don't know why the doctors didn't go and listen to her. In all situations, God knows the best and it works like that. The coroner said it wasn't for the court to recommend a change in the law, but that the Irish Parliament should take note. The jury made nine recommendations, including that the Irish Medical Council publish clear guidelines on abortion, that improvements be made in patient care and staff communication that no additions be made to a patient's notes after they have died. Sadly, there were lapses in the standards of care, but I'm sure people appreciate that we always try to do the best for our patients. As the inquest has starkly demonstrated, complex medical situations unfold, often very quickly, in real time. If things had gone to plan, he'd be celebrating the birth of a daughter three weeks ago. Instead, Praveen Halapanavar is reflecting on the loss of his wife and their child.